Good morning, Facebook family. It is the day before Thanksgiving. Still a work day. Um, obviously a little casual today, just running around doing some errands and um, taking care of some business before Big Turkey Day. So the last couple of weeks, I mean, well, I should say the last six years, we've been known for this thing called, we named it SOS Loans, where basically they've been with other lenders, comes down to the wire, they drop the ball for one reason or the other. Um, and so just to give you a couple of stories here. I posted it, I guess, on Monday. Uh, the first SOS loan came in on uh, 1110, and we closed it on 1121, and we had to get an appraisal for that. Okay, so it wasn't like it was a government loan where we can get an FHA or VA loan assigned us. We had to get a new appraisal, get it in, put a rush on it, get it in, uh, get it through underwriting the same day. And then, you know, had to wait the seven business days from start to finish. That's why it goes on 1121. We just got another one on Monday. Very, very similar circumstance. We're trying to close by the end of the month, but we're going to probably hit it by December 1st uh, due to compliance, uh, getting a change of circumstance out. And same thing, uh, went to a lender, couldn't do it. Uh, last minute, we jumped in. Easy, easy deal. Very easy deal. Uh, and I'm never really going to mention other lenders here or anything else. But you got to know, if you're out there as a, as a buyer, as a seller, as an uh, agent, real estate agent, or anybody, um, not all pre-approvals are created equal. And man, oh man, I, I see this more and more. Um, people want to compare. Hey, let's compare this price and this price, and then you know we'll, we'll go with the person who's a uh, you know five hundred five hundred you know five hundred dollars cheaper than than everybody else, and then they get screwed. Okay, this is not a commodity business on the mortgage side. Okay, it's somebody you, you better have the systems and processes in place to get crap done. A lot of times they look at it as a car loan. Hey, I'm going to compare this bank, this bank, this bank. I'm going to go with the lowest people. Well, anytime somebody does that, it's the race to the bottom. Okay. And, you know, our pricing is right, right there with, with everybody else. So I'm not even going to say that. But when you start going to the lowest denominator, driving down the, you know, pricing and driving it down and becoming a commodity, which a lot of these companies are, that, you know, that's all they do when it comes to sales. Hey, we're the lowest, we're the lowest. Meanwhile, they can't get crap done. And now, like I tell all of our people, I said, every transaction, you're dealing with 25 plus people. Uh, at least you're dealing with buyer, seller, both realtors, both everything else. So you, you better make darn sure that when you pick a lender, they have all their ducks in a row. So here's how we do the SOS loans so quickly. First and foremost, it's awesome people. That's number one. We can turn it around, we get the application and get it over to my underwriter, clear up any, any stuff on the front end. That's the same underwriter that's gonna see the deal anyway. So get all that stuff cleaned out. We get it into underwriting that same day or the next day. We get it back the same day or the next day. Uh, the appraisal's already been ordered. The title's already been ordered. We get all hands on deck. And it's kind of how we handle every file, by the way. Um, but if it's something that has to be closed very, you know, very, very quickly, then we just got to put it on top of the pile. And then basically it goes through underwriting, we get it back, we clear all the conditions with the uh, client, wait for the appraisal. Our closers are phenomenal, meaning the people who get the CD out and everything else. Um, then they, 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 they get the prelim CD out very, very early. We have that done to so make sure we're in compliance to close as quickly as possible, get it all back. Um, and then when they sign the prelim CD, once we get the finalized CD closing package, we get that out. It's really not that complicated. I always scratch my head how other lenders can't do this. Um, whether it's the basics of pre-underwriting the file the right way on the front end, because most lenders, they just take, for an example, take an application and let's say you're, you're giving numbers over the phone to the, to the lender and say, yeah, you know, I, I make $7,000 a month. That's where, that's all they put in 7,000 as far as income. They don't dive deep enough and say, okay, listen, is that your base salary? Is that commission? Is that overtime? What's the breakdown of that? You'd be amazed how many people don't even ask that question and things blow up not a week later, like it should when it goes into underwriting, but the week of closing. So if you don't have the lenders who don't ask you the questions, the right questions, you're gonna get screwed. And once again, we just had two of these and these come up every month, okay? And most of the time we can get them done. Sometimes we can't, 
depending on what it is. We had one a few months ago where I was like, I cannot even believe these people looked at all these houses and they, their income is basically zero. You know, they were self-employed. They never got income figured out on the front end uh, and, and so forth. And their income was actually zero. So my moral of the story here is I am so thankful and blessed for the team and the teamwork that we have here at Hancock Mortgage. Um, and, and our and our local team, you know, everybody jumps on it and knows what to do. Everybody works in unison. And that's why we've grown our business so much. It's systems and processes always, always, always beat the lowest common no, you know, denominator, which is going to be the drive to the bottom of prices. Okay, let's just put it out there right now. We, we are not the Walmart of, of you know, of financing. Um, but our services, our processes, and everything else is top notch. So if you need any help, just let us know. If you are a loan officer with another company and you know what I'm talking about, uh, you can't get stuff done. You can't grow your business because you're constantly in the file, constantly going back and forth, worried about that file closing, dealing and fighting with underwriters. You know who you are. There's a lot of good loan officers out there who are in a wrong system. Okay, if you want to get in a system, have a better quality of life, and grow your business, definitely uh, shoot me a private message, text me at 423-251-8083, and then I can get on the phone with you and tell you how we operate. All right? Everybody have a great Thanksgiving. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon.